And uh, one or two. 55! Matt Clark's wife, Ruth, is uh, watching at home. And uh, Ruth, we hope that uh, you're enjoying it. I'm sure there's one or two bitten nails, but uh, we hope you're enjoying this show. 83! Well, my husband closing in on a place in the third round. And a thousand pounds guaranteed. 77. A lovely last dart from Tom Curtin. 60. I wonder if we can see Curtin raise a fight. He's uh, certainly got to here from two sets to one down. Can't afford to lose another set. Otherwise, it is Curtin's. I suppose that was inevitable, wasn't it? The pun, I mean. So 70. 70 may not be enough here. Only 59 behind Mr. Clark. And now one ahead. Two darts in his hand. Can he make it pay? Lovely this. Oh, this is super stuff. Yes, wow. super stuff. Superman. And uh, that really puts daylight now between himself and Curtin in this leg. His second maximum. He's also had a superb 139 finish. 60. And uh, has at times, Stuart Pike, shown real quality. Well, you mentioned it, John. When, when he's firing on all cylinders, he, he really is great to watch, Matt Clark. Fifty-one. And therein lies the problem. We've seen a, a couple of great finishes, a couple of maximums, and some very ordinary darts as well. But 127, he's already taken 87. out 139. Max Clark, well within his range. Yes, uh, with Curtin on a potential finish, he may go if he gets the trouble 19 for the ball. It's irrelevant now anyway. But that's a lovely last dart to set it up nicely. Tom, you require 100 for top. So this is a must for Curtin. Uh, he can't do it. He's taken out a uh, very useful 110 earlier in the contest when uh, Clark was on a double, but Clark on a double here for one nil and to put himself within one leg of a place in round three. Game shown the first Brilliant! Clark a leg Clark. away from victory. Second leg. So there you have it, uh, a useful situation here for uh, Matt Clark, who surely will be able to take advantage of this. 236, and already having hit a brilliant 180, to land on that now puts himself on 96, Stuart. That is third 180, by the way, followed by a very useful 140. And uh, 96 wanted Matthew for the match. 96. Yep, and a place in the third round. Yes. For the match then. Double Game eight. Shot. Double eight it is. Great start from Matt Clark. Matt he won Clark. four consecutive legs after Curtin drew level at one apiece. And Matt Clark it is by three sets to one who goes into the third round. Right, well, that, uh, this is what's coming up in the second round. Great action coming up. Stacey Bromberg, the ladies' US number one against Kevin Painter. Way in action and some terrific matches to look forward to. Isam Veljic, by the way, accounted for Colin Osborne. Yes, well, we know from last year that he's, he's a useful performer and uh, William Bell, his next opponent. Above that, we've got James Wade, the left-hander against John Ferrell, an all-left-handed affair there. And then another fancied left-hander, Lionel Sams, will be taking on Charles Sawyer. That after you've seen the magic of Mardle, perhaps. Yep, so uh, victory for Matt Clark. He is safely through to the third round. And he's talking now with Sarah. Yes, we are joined right now by Super Matt Clark. How are you, Matt? You're right. I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. It so. was. Uh, I'm going to chuck in one more cliche. It was curtains there, wasn't it, for it, curtain? Uh, yeah, bless him. <laughs> I must admit, I was watching him practice in out of the practice room. He wasn't missing anything. I really, really thought I was 
up for it there, but he, he, I think the stage nerves got to him. So how did you find the match? Was it a toughie or was it okay? I thought it was going to be a toughie. Uh, I, I thoroughly enjoyed that, but it, it's easy to say that when you've won. Uh, <laughs> and you can relax a bit? Yeah. A little bit more time now before uh, the next game. Yeah, but you're playing like the Matt Clark that I knew a few years ago. You really played well. The last three months, I, I don't know where it's come from, but I, I'm certainly playing as well as I can remember playing. Um, but certainly ten years ago, I was, I feel, at the best of my game. Certain uh, strange business moves on my part didn't help me uh, and my dark career. Well, you're in um, Group 2. And you know if you win Group 2, and a certain Mr Taylor meets Group 1, you'll be meeting each other, and I think that could, Matt... That could be, be interesting, good. couldn't it? I think it'd be very I, interesting. I mean, Matt, how do, you, how do you plan to take on the tournament and, you know, be a champion? You just have to take it one game at a time. It's a really old cliche, and, and, and when you're playing badly, it's hard to accept that fact. You just want to get on and play. But, mm -hmm. but when you're having a bit of form and you're playing well, it is just one game at a time. I've played Phil before on the floor, mm -hmm. best of seven, best of nine. Again, ten years ago, and I've beaten him. Mm. So, well, very best of luck. On the Matt. floor, who knows? We yeah. may see you up here again. Okay, now we are now well done, in at the second round stages, much. and uh, the next match promises to bring some great action. I'm looking forward to this one, gents, because Stacey Bromberg, the tournament's only female contestant, and the US, USA, sorry, is best woman player, is going head to head uh, with world champion finalist Kevin Painter. Right now, it's back to John McDonald. Welcome back to the action here at the Mohican Sun. It's the PDC US Open and time to meet the players. 